Hey guys, Gary J here, and today I'm going to be talking about wet shaving. Wet shaving, where you use a mug and soap and lather up uh, the old fashioned way when you shave. And uh, just want to give you a couple of ideas. Um, now, when you wet shave, uh, there's a lot of advantages to that, I think, and some of them are, are really good advantages compared to just, you know, shaving uh, the way a lot of people normally shave. Now, uh, when you think about wet shaving, a lot of times you think about uh, perhaps uh, someone using a, uh, a Western cutthroat straight razor. Uh, you see a lot of that with straight ra uh, with uh, wet shaving, right? And uh, a lot of people also like to shave, wet shave with a double edge razor, something like this one here. So uh, there are a lot of reasons to do that too. Uh, one thing about wet shaving, uh, when you're using uh, a bowl and soap and, and you're lathering up and so forth, and you're using a brush here, and there are many different types of brushes, there are many different types of soaps, there's many different types of ways to shave. Uh, this right here is a 1920s type of razor right here. I like shaving with this sometimes. And uh, it's a... Later, they came out with the double edge razor, and uh, it makes it really neat when you look at some of these razors and so forth that they've come out with. And here's kind of a pretty double edge razor right here, too. But also, this right here is a 1910 razor right here. I like shaving with this one right here, too. So... <sighs> For a lot of people, when you shave, you know, for years and years, you hate shaving. You hate getting up every morning and shaving. But there's a way to turn that around so that you like shaving. I can tell you, I, I enjoy getting up every morning knowing that I'm going to shave. I do, because I have so many choices here of what I'm going to shave with. Whether and it, I may even shave with uh, a Kamasori, which is a Japanese straight razor. So... Uh, or the 1920 razor style, or the 1910 razor style, or the Western cutthroat razor style here too. So, I mean, the choices are there in these double-edged razors. So it's uh, it's fun to me. And you have a selection of different types of brushes. And some of your brushes here, like this right here is a synthetic brush by Simpson. And... Uh, it's got, it feels just like rabbit for like you're petting a rabbit. That's how soft that is. And then this one here is a, made out of badger hair. From, and this right here is a little bit firmer, but it's still very, very soft. Beautiful brush. And this one right here is made out of boar hair from a boar. And uh, this is an older brush of mine right here, uh, which I've pretty much worn out, I think. And... Uh, Here's a another older style synthetic brush right here. And here's a really old brush right here. This is really old right here. And this was like uh, badger hair here too. Uh, you, can, you can tell that people back in the old days, they, they didn't just go out and buy a brush all the time. They wore them out like this one right here. Pretty much wore out. Uh, this guy here, whoever had this one, uh, he... Uh, Really wore this one out. This is called Ever Ready. Kind of like the battery, Ever Ready. But uh, the fellow had this one right here. He got all the goodie out of it, didn't he? Now, some of these brushes, you can pull out this whole segment right here and uh, replace them with a, with a new head, uh, the hair, whatever. And so some brushes you can do that with. I don't think you can do it with that one. So for some of us, wet shaving is is something we enjoy doing, and it's it's a it's a it's a really nice. Um, I'm one of those people. I shave every morning, usually with a straight razor, uh, and then again I may you know mix it up with a double edge razor and so forth, or commissory or some of these vintage razors and so forth. So I mean, it's, again, it's a treat for me because I, I like wet shaving. Uh, another thing too, when you think about wet shaving, uh, 
when you're using a brush right here and you, and you lather it up, you, you, you're scrubbing your face a lot with this brush right here. And some brushes are thicker than others on the scrubbing. So you're kind of exfoliating the skin on your face, getting the oils out of your skin and so forth too. And uh, so there's an advantage, an advantage to doing that, to prepping your face and, and cleaning your face and, and shaving and so forth with a wet shave. Uh, some people will, uh, will say that uh, your face will look a lot younger if you do that uh, over the years. And it's kind of like a, you know, a woman, to me, in a way, going to get a, a manicure or a pedicure or something like that. Uh, you know, it looks very nice on them, and it's, it's healthy, too. So uh, that's some of the advantages of, you know, wet shaving, I think. Uh, that's very helpful. Another thing that's really kind of a treat, too, is that uh, when you get into uh, wet shaving, you have different soaps that you can use to lather up with. And this one right here is called uh, the uh, Colonel Conk Products. And uh, this is... Uh, this one contains avocado oil, vitamin E, and uh, anytime you see vitamin E or vitamin D or both on um, any kind of soap, that's a good soap. That's good for your skin. This is an almond smell. I would try to explain to you what almond smells like in this soap right here, but that's very subjective because how I smell it and how you smell it is going to be totally different. But so vitamin E is always good in a soap if you can get that. And uh, this is another conch, Colonel Conk product. And this one is Bay Rum. It has a Bay Rum smell, which is a nice smell to me. And uh, this one here is Amber. And that has a nice smell to me, too. And uh, this one right here is Lime. And you can see the different colors here. You can buy this four-pack. I forgot what it costs now. I, I don't... I'm thinking like $23, $24 for four packs. I could be wrong with that, but it's not that expensive. And, and these will last you a while. So that's Colonel Conk. So you got all these different scents right here. And, and again, this has got some vitamin E in it, which is good for your skin. So that's another good thing. Another one here is uh, Prorazzo. And it's like Pro and then Razzo. This is Italian. And this one is made for sensitive skin like pelly sensibility. Uh, that's for sensitive skin. This is, uh, again, Italian. And Parazzo, uh, you see, you'll see this a lot with people who wet shave uh, some type of Parazzo. And this one here is, uh, is another good one here. And I think this is called a, a saddle, saddle bomb. But anyway, this one is... Uh, the smell on this one, uh, it smells good to me, but it's not as great as it could be. Uh, this one right here has got uh, menthol and eucalyptus. Menthol and eucalyptus in this one. And uh, this Parazzo right here is really nice right here. This is probably, the, I would think this is probably number one. It has that cool feeling to your face and all too, like the menthol would. So this is probably the number one of Parazzo to me that I think most people would probably really, really like. And Parazzo's been around for a long time. Now, this one's been around for since 1840, so they're still there. Uh, Williams Mug Shaving Soap right here. And these, a lot of these come in what we call a puck. And if you can see that. Williams mug shaving and with the puck what you're doing is basically uh, you're just dropping it uh, down inside the, the bowl uh, and leaving it there and then you just rub your brush on top of it with it inside the bowl. Now I can smell this one right here. Uh, the smell is a little strong but what happens is that when you put hot water with this and, and lather it up you won't smell that, that strong smell but it's got a nice smell to it. And uh, this one is another Italian type of shaving cream, or well, shaving soap, and this is uh, Cella, Cella. This one goes back to 1899, where this is the 1840s. And Parazzo goes back too. 
So if they've been around that long, you know, there's, there's something good about them, I suppose. Um, first time I saw Chella, I remember it was like, this looks like Santa Claus, like he's got a white beard right here, but that's shaving soap for that beard right there because he's got that mustache and it looked like Santa Claus. I thought, that's not going to sell like that. People think that's Santa Claus. And this one here has this nice little red bowl right here. So they're pretty nice uh, when you look at the different uh, scents that you can get, uh, smells that you can get from the different types of shaving soaps. Uh, that can be really nice. And the different types of brushes that you can use for shaving with. And the different types of razors that you can, you can use uh, for shaving with. Whether it's something like, you know, the, the straight razor, Western style, or a Japanese Kamasuri straight razor, or a double edge razor, or the vintage 1920 type, or the 1910 type of uh, Durham Duplex safety razor here. And uh, this one's called the Durham Duplex Dewberry. Dewberry. So that thing is wide too. So, I mean, uh, you can make shaving fun again if you, if you want to and uh, enjoy that. Now, uh, right here, this right here is a Perazzo shaving travel kit. Shaving travel kit. Now, sometimes you look at a lot of this stuff and you say, I don't know if I really want to get into all this or not, or how expensive is this stuff? Well, I can tell you that like Perazzo here, I pay probably $8 for each one of these can canisters, which to me, that's, that's, a, that's a really good price, okay? Uh, again, it's shipped from Italy, and um, you can you can you can buy those really reasonable price. And I think I mentioned on your brushes right here, uh, you can buy a synthetic brush like this for thirty four dollars. Uh, this one is Badger hair, which is is really nice. This was like thirty something dollars for the Badger, which is pretty economical. And that you can pay. From thirty-four dollars to three hundred, four hundred dollars for a shaving brush. All depends on what you want. Okay, so badger hair is badger hair, but they have a, a premium badger hair too, which is more expensive. And it depends depends on who makes it, and that's boar hair right there. Which this is an older one here, and this is wore out. So. Uh, you can spend a lot of money on brushes too, from thirty something dollars to four hundred dollars, and you can spend a lot of money uh, on even your your bowls and stuff like this right here, from twenty dollars to eighty dollars for a bowl. And some of them look just alike. Some of the times I think you're just paying for a brand name. So, and your your double edge. Uh, razors, you can pay probably twenty dollars to over four hundred dollars for these. So you can get them cheap, and like uh, these commissuries. Now this is a shavette right here, and I've got a regular commissuri. These you can pay uh, from fifty dollars to over four hundred dollars for commissuri, and the uh, uh, Western style cutthroat straight razors, you can pay fifty dollars to several hundred dollars for these too. So you've got extreme amount of money you can pay for any of these things, or you know, or very uh, economical price you can pay for them too. So if you say I don't want to get into all this stuff and I don't know if I'm gonna really like that or not, well, this right here is the next best thing right here. To me, it is. Uh, Again, Parazzo Shave Travel Kit. This kit costs fifteen dollars, fifteen bucks. That's with shipping and handling. And I would mention, uh, if you're thinking about getting into this, you want to do some research on this. One of the best YouTube video uh, guys out there that that deals with shaving with straight razors and double edge razors and 
uh, wet shaving and so forth. And, and, and he sells all these different brands and stuff pretty much. Uh, is Geo Fat Boy. Geo Fat Boy. I'll leave a, leave a link for Geo Fat Boy. And it's called Shave Nation. Shave Nation. So uh, if you watch some of his videos, there they are professionally done looking videos. And he, he, he does a great job. And you can tell this is a super nice guy. And um, so uh, he'll teach you everything you want to know about straight razor shaving, how to straight razor shave, and how to shave with a double-edged razor and, and a kamasuri, Japanese razor, and, and all of that. And just great videos, great guy. Okay, so they'll teach you what you need to know. And he goes over all of this stuff, like this right here too, and tells you, you know, the smell and things like that and shows you how to how it works but Perazzo here this is the shaving kit and this is really nice right here because for $15 you get a kind of an introductory to wet shaving I think now one of the things you're going to do when you get ready to wet shave is that you're going to use some people use there's a debate a debate some people say well it's better to use cold water for shaving some say it's better to use lukewarm some say it's better to use hot water I use hot water, not scalding hot, but hot enough to be comfortable. And so that's what I lather up with and all. So that's the way I do it. Now, when you get ready to shave, you're going to put water on your face, in my case, the hot water on my face. And then I'm going to put uh, something like this, maybe a pre-shaving cream. And uh, you just rub this into your skin on your face. And this is Perazzo here. Uh, you rub that into your skin, and, and it, it helps the, the razor. It, a lot of times, if I use a straight razor uh, every day. So, I mean, pretty much, or swap out with one of these other type of razors for the fun of it. But uh, it, it helps, your, helps the razor go down across your skin better when you use a pre-shave. That's kind of the idea of a pre-shave. The pre-shave can not only just come in like Perazzo here, or there are many other styles that, that they have. Another thing that helps is like this one right here is a pre-shave type thing. This is an oil called uh, Shave Secret. I don't know how much a secret that is, but it's a, it's an oil, and you put it on the uh, on the tip of your fingers right here, and you kind of rub it there, and then you rub it all over your face, wherever you're going to shave at. And it kind of prepares your face so that the razor, especially with straight razors and, and DE razors, double edge razors, that they go down your face nice. And, and maybe your hair a little bit. So that's good. And this is probably like four bucks for this thing here. It's only, only uh, 18.75 milliliters. It's, I don't know how many ounces that is, but that's a small amount that comes in this right here. For like four bucks or you can use olive oil this is just a visine bottle right here and i put virgin olive oil in here and to me virgin olive oil you can buy a whole bottle for like two bucks and and i just i use the visine and you can peel those labels off the visine and uh so it allows you to put a couple of drops on your on your fingertips here with the olive oil and rub them and then rub that into your face the same way you would do something like this or the same way you would do something like this with Brazo uh, pre-shave and it just makes the blade go across your face easier and kind of prepares your whiskers a little bit so the pre-shave is the first thing you want to do there wet your face first put the pre-shave on and after you've done that you want to lather up in this case, with this kit right here, you've got uh, Perazzo's shaving cream. Now, this right here works just like the soaps do right here. Uh, instead of using a, a hard soap, this is like a cream. This is a cream, kind of like toothpaste, and you put it in your your bowl, and then you're gonna, you know, uh, take your brush right here and and uh, rotate it to make your lather. So you can get shaving cream or the shaving soaps and uh, so this works really well too and it's got a good, some of these have a really good smell to them and 
This comes with the smallest shaving brush in the world, I think, Perazzo. But it's pretty stiff right out on the outside. It's real stiff. So it'll work uh, uh, pretty well and uh, to lather your face up because this is a travel kit. And so this is really, really nice. This is made by Omega. They make a lot of stuff, I think, for Perazzo. So you got your shaving brush here. You got your pre-shave. You got your shaving cream. And uh, then after you shave and, and wash your face off and all of that, you got your aftershave balm. This is kind of a, uh, for sensitive skin. This is kind of a cream. You put this on your face, uh, shaving balm, uh, after you've shaved and dried your face off and all, and you're ready to go meet the world. And that kind of kind of seals your skin and protects your skin. A lot of people use shaving balm, especially in the wintertime when the wet, with, because of wind and chafing and stuff like that, a wind burns. And uh, they use a splash on a lot of times in the summertime instead of the balm, but you can do it either way. So basically, you know, this has everything that you need, the pre-shave, the shaving cream, the aftershave, and your brush here. And the only thing you need is what? The, uh, a bowl to mix up your, your lather. Well, you can just use a coffee cup or a plastic coffee cup that comes in a hotel if you want to. To make up your soap so it's, it's nothing fancy about that and then the only other thing you have to have of course is what you're going to shave with you know if you wanted to try a de razor double edge safety razor or something like that and uh so you can do it really economical again this is only 15 dollars for everything you need except for the razor you're going to use so that's a good deal right there, just to try that out. Okay, so we talked about the shaving soaps. We talked about shaving brushes, I think. We talked about different types of razors and and so forth. And the cups, um, this is a, a cup I've had for a long time right here, and it's got like a handle, like an apothecary handle on it. And uh, this was a soap that actually came with this one, uh, same design uh, right here. And uh, this soap is okay; it lathers up okay. It's just I can't. It's kind of like a generic soap uh, to me. And uh, this is an older style uh, cup right here. Like I said, it got little cracks through here a little bit. And this is really a nice old shaving mug right here and then here's another old uh, shaving mug right here and it's got shaving right here you barely see it and here's the old style uh old spice 1786 and uh they make all kind of shaving bows, but in these right here, they have these ridges right here all the way around, and that makes it a lot easier because when you're uh, when you're creating lather, you got that friction right here. I don't know a lot of these people who make shaving mugs today. They don't have these agitators, I would call them or whatever, to uh, make the friction to make your uh, shaving soap easier. But uh, Old Spice did. Another thing with Old Spice, this is short. So, like, here's a brush right here. And it's perfect, perfect height right here. And you can grab, like, right here. Go around. And uh, not make any noise with that. So, this is the right height right here. If you get into some that are too high, uh, then you can get all kind of noises depending on how much you're bouncing around. But if you hold your brush down here like I have my thumbs, you don't have a problem. But otherwise, you get this bouncing noise right here if you're holding it too high up. And this is another one here. And this is an older Old Spice right here because I looked at the bottom. It says Old Spice. But it's got the ridges in here too. And so that's pretty neat right there. 
but that's the right height too. While I'm thinking about it, let me show you this real quick, looking at cups. Now this is not a shaving mug right here. This is a um, special mug right here uh, for drinking like coffee or something like that. Um, this type of cup right here is for a mustache. It's called a mustache cup. You, you drink out of here and your mustache goes across here. And I have a mustache, kind of like this guy here a little bit. So um, that's pretty neat, the mustache cup. And I think that's kind of a little bit older design right there. But uh, kind of cute. Now, mustache cups have been around for a long time. Now, here's one uh, that goes back to the 1930s and 40s, I think. And so guys with their mustache and stuff, you know, it was something that they considered back in the day was a mustache cup. And so this is a very nice one right here to me. So you don't find those very often. Those are kind of rare to find. So we looked at cups. And uh, again, you don't have to have, you don't have to spend a lot of money on cups. Uh, again, these go from like 30 bucks to 60, 70, 80 bucks, and even sometimes more if you want to spend that kind of money. You can use a coffee cup, works just as, just as well almost. And um, this right here is a, just a soup bowl right here that works pretty good too. And one other thing. This is an old brush right here. Um, you can see the old type of barber brush. And I'm not sure what that hair is. The hair is kind of thick. It may be like horse hair on that. And uh, these, this brush here is really old too. And you know, I don't, when I was a kid get, getting a haircut in the barber shop, the guy had a brush like this right here. And he had some kind of powder he put that brush in. And after they cut your hair, uh, you know, they would, they would uh, dust off the hair off your neck and, you know, the sides of your face and so forth. And it had that wonderful smell, whatever that powder was that they used. So I really like that. But that's an old brush right there, too. So it can be fun to go back to shaving, my friend, and enjoy shaving. Uh, some people grow a beard just so they don't have to shave, too. I've, I've had a beard few times but um, I enjoy getting up every morning and knowing that I'm going to be shaving and, and, and choosing what I'm going to shave with and most time it's always with a straight razor uh, now sometimes I may finish up start with a straight razor and finish up with a DE razor if I'm in a hurry uh, which usually I can shave the first pass with like two minutes maybe two two minutes and 20 seconds with a regular razor so it doesn't take long but prepping is you know takes you need to add another 15 minutes probably to your shaving routine if you're going to use wet shaving and, and enjoy it uh, i think i mentioned like if you go into one of those places uh that high-end barber shops where they do straight razor shaves They'll charge you like sixty to eighty dollars for a straight razor shave. That's it, and uh, so you can have that every morning, or enjoy a really nice shave every morning, and save that sixty bucks. You know, uh, by doing it yourself this way, and it's kind of, you know, kind of a treat for you, and it's good for your face and all of that. Well, I think that's it, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, there's one other thing too, in case you've never seen one of these. This right here is a four-sided um, honing uh, deal here. Um, for straight razors, uh, back in the day, uh, you had to have some way of honing those straight razors. This is a smooth side right here, and this is a little bit rougher side right here. But uh, this was the honing stick that they used. And you can see how old this thing looks like it is anyway. So that's kind of what they needed in order to uh, hone the uh, straight razors and so forth back in the day. And uh, that was a pretty nice one back in the day. So you can make 
Uh, shaving fun again, my friend. If you want to get into wet shaving and try that out, and again, if you don't want to get invested in it very much, you can uh, try this shaving kit by Perazzo with uh, for fifteen bucks. Check out Shave Nation Geo Fat Boy. He's really good on on this stuff and sells most of this stuff. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, Gary J.